Okay. Alright, help me out here. Um, you don't know me, but yet you know what's best for me. Um, you don't care about me, because you don't know me. You don't care about me, um, but you're going to tell me what you think I should do with my life. Okay, that's that's a conversation I can have with a stranger. Um, you okay? So you don't like my music? Why are you listening to it? Um, but okay, so just because you don't like my music doesn't mean other people don't. Um, my song "Trans Victim" is like played a lot, and then "Tell Me Better Lies" is also played a lot and sold a lot or bought a lot. Super love is, but not really. And then... <clears throat> <clears throat> and then, what was the other thing? And then, um... You think I'm not funny. Okay. Comedy is subjective. Yeah, everyone has their own personal take on a lot of things. My humor is, um... Directed at, like... The bullied. You know, like, the misfits. So... If you're not a misfit, you know, I'm not funny. You know? <laughs> Um, gay guys don't find me funny, uh, like, English guys don't find me funny, um, girls do, straight guys do, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know why gay guys don't find me funny, because some of them were misfits in my high school, but, I mean, I'm a friend with them, so I would know, but I don't, I don't know, I'm funny to gay guys, I think, um, what's the other thing, I'm a bad model, okay, um, well, I've been doing it for six years on my own album covers, and I actually have a ton of GQ magazines that I've been kind of... I mean, you might not think it's studying, or whatever, but I've been studying them and like, looking at them, and, you know... So, I'm just trying to think, like, at what... I mean, why in the world would I get so worked up over someone who doesn't know me or anything about me? I'm thinking, well, that's a mistake on my part for giving a damn. <laughs> um, and at some point I think, you know, is it like, am I not doing well as a Christian? Because I'm getting so upset, you know? Like, I'm thinking, well, I really do need to be unoffendable. Uh, okay, okay. But it's like, there's some hypocritical thing in between everything on the other person's part and my part and I can't really be mad at the other person because you know I don't think on some level he cares you know I don't think that I just think that he might be like jealous of me or think you know oh you're dumb because you're trying to be famous I'm like well I was trying to be famous when I was a kid you know because I always want I heard NSYNC I thought I wanted to do that and now it's like now I just want to like work and um see what happens in modeling, and I'm actually, I think one of the first things I'm actually having, like, success in, and, um, getting a big response, but I don't know, like, what I should do when people are, um, being negative. I think I shouldn't listen to them, because I'm thinking, you're not my, you know, you're not my brother, you're not my sister, you're not my best friend, you're not my close friend, you're not my friend, you know, you're not my dad, you're not my mom, you're not my grandma, you're not my grandpa, you're not my uncle, you're not my aunt, you know, you're none of these things, so why on earth would you, what, I mean, like, I would be embarrassed, you know, I would, personally, I mean, if I told you what I thought of you and I didn't know you, I would be like, you know, it's like, I can't, I can't do that, you know, so I'm thinking, that's where he falls short. That's like, okay, so you're telling me things that, you know, if you don't like me, then don't talk to me. Like, so I don't understand. Um, I'm missing something, and I'm also just barely tired. But I just, I mean, I, I guess to sum up this video, um, I should have personal boundaries um, with the world and others, because I'm already dealing with, like, 
you know, photographers and models, and they're, some are mean, and I'm like, but, uh, you know, you have to be sharper than the next guy in order to get the job, and I just so happen to be one of the sharper guys, but, um, I guess I see, I have personal boundaries, and I need to have a list of people that I will only listen to, and photographers that I'll only listen to, and then what other people say, I'm going to have to, like, let it go, because, well, I can't afford to slow down and read someone's opinion about me when they don't know everything that I do, and I, I mean, it's because it, it's harmful to the both of us, because if you keep provoking me, I'm going to hurt you, <laughs> um, whether you think you're tougher than me or you're, you know, or not, or whatever, but I think personal boundaries... And also, I need to get over myself and not let things get to me. Um, and I think I should bleach my teeth. Because I want them to be as white as this oh, 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 oh they're white. <laughs> so the more I get into the sunlight, the brighter they become. So, I don't know. That's my new goal be unoffendable, but I just can't let people get away with what they say to me, you know, because it's like, if someone says something mean to you, like, you can't let them get away with it, I'm like, well, that's true, like, I don't want you to get away with it, because I've taken so much crap, like, I don't need to take any more crap, especially from you, <laughs> and so, I mean, I'm sure I could be friends with the person that's being a douche, but not right now, because, you know, it's the morning, and I'm tired, <laughs> but, uh, it's just, I'm, I think that's what I'm gonna do, um, I only have a specific group that I listen to, it's just, I hate when people think that they're right, and they're wrong, and they go around promoting their wrongness, you know, I'm not talking about religion or anything, oh, I really don't like it when they're planning to be Christian, and then they act like that, it's kind of like, this is a turn off, I'm like, I don't want people to know I'm Christian, because you're misrepresenting us, stop it, but, Sean, you want attention, yeah, I'm a comic, <laughs> Sean, you're kind of mean, yeah, I'm a comedian, <laughs> I'm the worst type of comedian, because I'm not, they don't, in, you know, they don't involve me in church, so I don't have to watch what I say anymore, because they don't, they're like, well, well, Sean, if you watch what you say, we would have you here more often. And I'm like, well, if I was there more often, I'd have to watch what I say. So I wouldn't be able to beat around the bush for things. So who's dumb? <laughs> so who's a fool for not using me? Um, Because if, if you don't use me, then I'm just going to go. If you don't welcome me, then I'm going to go somewhere else where I'm welcome. I mean, that's anyone does that, you know. And it's like, I don't want to change churches, but on the other hand, it's kind of like, you know, I'm going to take a break, I don't know. I don't know. But that's, I don't know. My thoughts. Um. So. What do you do when someone negatively approaches you? Like, they try to constructively deconstruct you, and they don't really know who you are or anything. It's weird how I can, like, not listen to my grandparents, because I'm thinking, well, you're old and you don't know what you're talking about, you know, my mom's side. So, like, why would I care what you say? And then, uh, because you don't do what I do, and you've not been doing what I've been doing for a long time. So, I don't know, I'm just... I'm having a hard time adding the pieces together on why negative people project to other people that they don't know. I like Nicki Minaj. I like her, you know, worth work ethic. I think that's good. I might not agree with some of the words she chooses to say, but that's not going to... I mean, I'm... I, Plus, she wouldn't listen to me anyways, because she's so famous. 
So it's like, uh, but anyways, I'm, I better wrap this up before I start to ramble. <laughs> it's been ten minutes. So, yeah. What do you do when someone, you know, is like that doesn't know you and doesn't care about you? What do you do when they try to tell you about you and, uh, and stuff? Like, what's your take on that? Like, do you, like, hey, listen here, mother... Or are you kind of just like, yeah, whatever, you know? I mean, like, I really do need to grow up and learn the time and place to acknowledge these types of people. But on the other end, I just I don't have time to deal with it. Like right now, I should be sleeping because I gotta get up and I gotta do something important. So I'm wasting you know time, energy on this. And so it's like I can't, I don't want to invest stock in this. My friend said you don't want to invest stock in this because then you're giving it power. And you know, but I really think you know now is a good time to like constructively bring it up. And so I'm asking you guys like what would, how do you do it? Like how do you get over it? So, um. My lips are dry. I think I'm gonna watch 30 Rock and South Park. Oh, but I'm really hungry. I hate getting up. Okay. Buy my new song, my new single's out. It's Strobe Lights. I'm playing the violin on it for the first time. I'm playing on my violin on my song. And, um. And. Send me like your Facebook like page link or something and I'll like it. And I don't really follow anyone on Twitter and Instagram, but I'll definitely like if you like what I like and I'll, if you like one of my pictures and I definitely like your stuff. You know, I like I'd start to like you crap too. But that's just I've just I get like really over bombarded with crap so I can't like focus on it. So if I follow you I'm really not following you. <laughs> it's not because I'm mean, it's just because I'm just like I'm so worked up or busy and I can't like focus. Yeah. Therapy sessions in my bed. Yeah. I already turned off. <laughs>